Hi, I'm Shika and thank you for being here with me today. And if you don't know, if you're not sure of who I am or you are new to me, I create done for you coaching courses, done for you coaching workbooks, done for you coaching captions and all that. And you can use them with your clients. So that's what I do. And if you think this will help you, you can just check out the link in the description box or in the show notes or wherever you're catching me from. Okay, so anyway, today we are going to talk about the people-pleasing mindset when it comes to running our business or when it comes to being a coach. So as business owners, usually we want to be nice to our clients and our customers, but we also want to have our boundaries respected and we also want our work to be respected. And at the same time, sometimes you may come across clients or customers who try to I wouldn't say that they intentionally intentionally take advantage of your niceness, but sometimes they unintentionally do that. And if you are a new if you are new in this line of work or if you're new to business, sometimes you tend to give in to these people pleasing habits and people pleasing actions because you want clients and because you want to be as to be seen as a nice entrepreneur. So you give in, right? So anyway, um, back to the topic at hand, we're going to cover four signs that you may have a people-pleasing mindset to work on. So if you are someone who underprices your products and services, even though you feel very unhappy about it, that's one possible sign. Sign number two is when you say yes or you give people discounts even when you don't like it. So sometimes I get emails and I get DMs from people asking me if they can have a discount, a private discount to my done-for-you courses or done-for-you workbooks. So if you are someone who says yes to every single discount request, then you may, and you hate yourself for doing that, then you may have a people-pleasing mindset to work on. Or sometimes you get this rare, unreasonable client, you know, and he or she has many requests which are non which are not exactly within the package that they paid for. And if you keep and you apologize to him or her, even though it's not your fault or or something along those lines, then you may have a people pleasing mindset to work on. Or m- perhaps you have clients or customers who request for extra services which are not included in the package that they paid for and you oblige to those requests even though you hate them then, you know, we, that may be a sign that you have a people-pleasing mindset as well. So as you can see, there is this common thread or common pattern amongst all these actions, and that is ignoring your own resentment, ignoring your own unhappiness to make the other person happy. So I'm not saying that you have to be all aggressive and angsty and angry when, you know, clients ask you politely for a request or ask you politely for a discount or two. But what I'm saying is that you can also, you have the right to say no politely and professionally if you don't, if you don't feel good about fulfilling a certain, a certain request which your clients have. But of course, if you are feeling abundant and generous that day and you want to give a free service or two, then go ahead and do it. But if at the same time, if you don't, if you feel that someone is taking advantage of your nice nature and you don't want to oblige or you don't feel like giving a private discount to that person, then good for you. Just do what you feel comfortable doing. And people pleasing is deep rooted in our mindset and it does require some work on our part. So we can't exactly jump from being a from having a people pleasing mindset to becoming this confident lady boss in one night or in two nights. It does take months or even years of work for some of us. But awareness is always the first step towards healing. That's what I always say. As long as you are aware that you may have this issue, that is always the first step towards self-growth and self-improvement. And um, you might be wondering, so now now what? No, I suspect that I have a people-pleasing mindset with my clients in my business. What do I do next? So when you have a people-pleasing mindset, chances are you have these very rigid shoulds and musts mindset or thinking pattern. So you always have this thinking pattern that I should say yes to every request and put my clients' needs you know, before my own because they paid to work with me. If you have that kind of mindset, um, then you have what I call a should and must mindset. Or you have this mindset that I must always be a nice coach who never makes anybody angry or who never ruffles any feathers. Well, newsflash, there are people who are not going to like you. You may be the nicest coach on earth, 
the most obliging coach on earth and they there may be there may be people who do not like you so you might might as well be yourself right <laughs> anyway so you may also have this thinking pattern where you feel that you have to always be selfless even though you hate it you resent it deep down you feel that you always have to be selfless no matter what and you have this belief that people who suffer will be rewarded in some way so all these are I would say all these are uh, part of our childhood experiences as well. So perhaps we've been educated in that way and this thinking pattern just sticks to our minds, you know, and it carries on even though we are adults right now, it carries on even decades after that. So it's good to work on this when we can. And the first step that you can do is to rewrite these thinking patterns that you have into something which is into something which are into thoughts which are more empowering. So for example, I can choose to say yes to my client's extra requests if they align with me. Or I can choose to offer extra services to my clients for free if I feel good doing so. So the word choose is actually very empowering and very powerful because it reminds you that you have the option and you have the freedom to do something or not. So you don't you uh, you know you you should not do something or you must not do something but you have the choice you can choose whether you want to do it or not so the word choose can be very empowering if you want to rewrite any sort of rigid pattern that rigid thinking pattern that you have and these new thoughts that you have can imply that you have the freedom to decide whether you want to give in to others non urgent requests or not and the thing that, or rather the reason why we do this is because is because it can be very stressful and you may feel burnt out if you keep giving in to requests which do not feel good to you all right so i think that's all we have for today it's a very short episode today actually my <laughs> podcast episodes are always short anyway so just curious do you have any people pleasing mindsets at the back of your mind when you're running your own business i'm it's quite refreshing to get insight from you and to get your input and your opinions about this topic so if you have any input or anything to share with me you can go to you can email your thoughts to shika at shikaanwar.com the address is in my show notes or in the description box and at the same time i mean the process of creating an overcome people pleasing masterclass a done for you masterclass which you can use with your clients and help your clients to overcome their people pleasing mindsets so i'm in the press in the process of creating that once it's done i will include it in the description box as well so that's all for today thank you for being with me today bye see you in my next episode